Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Chris Sonic Guy here. We welcome you to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Um, this is the Make the Grade part as well. So uh, this is the uh, this is the different part of the Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? This is called Make the Grade. For as well, you notice how to make this grade. So if you lose on that one two tries in a row and you don't have a save, that means you are dropped out of school and you can't just re-answer this question. So for this being said. We are going to be playing this game and see what we have. So, like just on the TV show, climb the mountain, honey, ladder to the top to win a million dollars. So, that being said, I'm going to be starting the game right now, and we'll be ready to go. So, with that, let's get started. Foxworthy, we are happy to have you with us today. Let's find out, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Let's meet your classmates. We've got yep. Jed, Jed, Paul, Paul. Yes. Justin, Justin. Right. Cara, awesome. and Melissa. It's time to meet our player. There's me. Ready. Ready to go. All right, let me tell you how to play the game. Up on the board are going to be 10 subjects. Questions range from first grade through the fifth grade. Your first correct answer is worth $1,000. If you get the 10th question correct, it is worth $500,000. If you do answer all 10 questions correctly, we give you an opportunity to answer an additional grade school question. And if you get it right, you'll win one million dollars. One Remember, million dollars. Remember, if at any point the pressure gets to be too high, you can take the money that you've bankrolled up to that point, and you can drop out of our little school. Like I said, your classmates oh, yeah, are taking peaks, the same test just as you. The same thing. So if you get stumped, you can cheat off of them in a couple of different ways. First, you can peek at their answer. You can choose to go with it or go with your own. It's up to you. Or you can copy your classmate's answer, in which case you have to go with whatever they guess. Finally, you have a save, which kicks in automatically if you guess wrong, but your classmate is right. You can only use each cheat once, and when they're gone, you won't be able to get any help from your classmates for the rest of the game, so use them wisely. You can drop out of school at any time and take whatever money you've earned. But before you can walk away with a loot, you have to tell the whole world that you are not smarter than a fifth grader. Is it a deal? Yes. Let's get this thing started then. Pick a classmate and let's get started. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and pick this answer. I'm going to see what I can do. So first choice I'm picking is... All ladies, Kara. Going to go with Kara. You alright? Cool. Alright, up you go. Let's see the list of subjects for this game Earth, Earth science, science, Art, Measurements, U.S. Geography, Reading, World Geography, Health, Animal Science, English, Astronomy. All right, okay, let's, let's find out. Find out. Am I smarter, smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. All right, let's see if I'm smarter than a fifth grader. So first up, let's pick out. It's English. Okay, <clears throat> for one thousand dollars, here's right. the question. What does the Greek every bio mean? As in biology, um, uh, science. I think life. This one's called life. I'm going to lock in my answer. 
That's what the Greek always knows. Life means bio. You've got $1,000. Yes, I got $1,000. So, whatever this word, knowledge of common effects is allows you to figure out the word's meaning if you're not familiar with it. <laughs> what does that mean? Do anything? I don't know. Who can I figure it out? All right, so next want. question, let's go with, uh, let's try out, uh, you know what I want to do. I want to do Earth Science. Let's do this one next. Okay, the $2,000 question right. is... True or false, icebergs are made up of salt water. That's, that's not quite right, so I go... Locking in. Icebergs are cold. The sea of ocean is salt water. All right, your answer is <clears throat> locked in. Count it. You've got two thousand yes, dollars. Yes, it worked. So icebergs are cold, just like from a Titanic movie, and they're mainly made up of fresh water icebergs. Your classmates can only help you two right. questions at a time. Let's see what I can pick. Another classmate. Please pick me. And I will pick. Over here. Over here. Melissa next. I'm going to go with Melissa. All right, Melissa, you're next. Yeah. So two answers are correct. With Kara, now it's Melissa's turn. Pick another subject. All right, so let's try out um, animal, animal science. Okay. You're playing for five This one is, what is another term for the internal, internal support structure in an animal? Exoskeleton, the structural, in. hmm, exostructural, maybe, maybe I can, or I can try to peek at the answer, I'll go with that. I think I'm going to peek. Let me try peeking my classmates answer. Let's have a look at what your classmate wrote down. Mm, let's see. If that's the answer you want to go with, lock it in. Endoskeleton. I'm going to see if she's right. If not, then try again. Locking in. Here he goes. All right, your answer's locked uh, the in. The answer's locked in. Got $5, That's $5. correct. Great job, Melissa. So exoskeletons are for terrestrial insects. They help prevent dehydration. So whatever you're in a hot water, hot weather, uh, drink some water. That's because of exoskeleton helps you. Right, the insects. Let's pick a subject. Now let's try another one. Let's go with. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to ask her for something. What are you good at? Well, I think I'm good at astronomy. That is helpful information. That's a helpful information. Let's do astronomy with us. All right, for $10,000, maybe... What was the name of the first satellite put into orbit by the U.S.? Mariner, Mercury, Telstar, Explorer. Mercury, what, does, what do we need to know about that? Mariner? Explore. Uh, let's try out the. I don't know this answer, but this one I'm gonna go with a. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go with the Moreno. Oh come on! I already have the answer. Shut it. There you go. You're locked in. Think it's wrong. I don't know. No, I'm Oh, sorry. darn. Oh. <laughs> no. No. Oh, oh man. man. Boo yourself, man. I wonder if your partner can get you Let's out see. of this. Let's see. Let's see. Is it safe? Sometimes. Looks like the answer is somewhere. wrong. Explorer is the correct answer. And Explorer launched in 1958. Mercury launched in 1962. That was devastating. Let's try again in the other way. 
All right, so let's try again. So unfortunately, Melissa doesn't know any of the answers for the astronomy. But let's go with boys, starting with Justin. I heard your name, so here you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we need to know. <clears throat> let's see the list of subjects. Here are the list of subjects we have. Art, reading, U.S. geography, U.S. history, math, science, vocabulary, measurements, music. Health. All right. Let's, let's find out. out. I'm smarter than a fifth grader. Let's do Pick a reading. This is the first stop right here. You're playing for $1,000 on this first What letters time. does the Asper stroke replace the contraction word can't? Oh, this. Your classmate is now locked in. Cannot. Wait, what? Wait, what letters does the Aspostrophe Faye, replacing the contraction, can't. Mm. I'm sure I used to know this. I don't understand this question, but if I want to peek, I can peek. Or I want to copy, I can copy. I'll go with copy. I think I'm going to copy. Because I don't understand which one could that be. I think it should be right. No. Okay, there it is. Your answer's <clears throat> locked in. N-O. Hmm? You've got one thousand. And you got that right. Woohoo! So that's how the Spanish works. Pick your next. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and move up to the next question. That's, this will be vocabulary. Okay, the $2,000 question. Which of the following words refers to a type of what? You, you, why me? You, you, you. Whoa, wow. Hmm. Why, why me? That doesn't, that doesn't follow anything. There's only the two words, you, you. You, woo, that the, I don't understand what that word could be. Type of wood. I think the D E W E. Don't be tired, that fool. E W E. Ooh. You. I think this answer. Locking in. Hmm. Tough situation, but I'm now locked in. That's not the right answer. Ah. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. So that's not the correct Only answer. Your partner can help you now. And so very quickly, that could be yes, you. Okay. Y e w. Saved it very good. You've got At two thousand dollars. Thankfully, your classmate knew the answer to that one. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, much. Jace. Uh, Your Justin. classmates can only help you two questions at a time. Pick another classmate. Please pick me. Um, answer will be second choice. Please pick me. Uh, I can't because you answered the last one too soon. Me. Jed, I can it's pick. You and me, Jed. <clears throat> yes. So here we go. Uh, me and Jed right now. Let's see if I, if I can do it better. You've got your classmate. Now your let's try out. Uh, let's go with science. Okay, you're playing for five thousand dollars. What does a bonnetist study? Mm. Your classmate is. Weber is the uh, is a meteorologist. Plants is a archaeal animals. Robots. Locking I in. think the robots could be the botan botanist. Okay, there it is. Your Animals answer couldn't be the only in. choice that I was I'm making. I guess I had a not choice good that is answer. Not correct. Yep. Ah. What's the right wow. answer? I was sure about that one too. Show us the correct answer, please. Oh, plants. That's all she wrote. Perfect. That's all I flunked out. out. Oh no, I can't believe I missed that one. 
Before you go, I need you to tell the entire world that you are not smarter than a fifth grader. I just proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. No. We'll see you next time. Tell us that are you smarter point. than a fifth grader? Bye bye, everybody. Mm. Didn't answer that very good. That was an F. But try again on the third one. Okay, let's try again. Now, I didn't get a chance to do Paul, so let's get Paul right now. I'm going to pick Paul. So that's the only person I missed. So here's Paul. Here are the subjects for today's game. Astronomy. Astronomy. Music. Music. Animal, animal science. science. English. English art. art. Physical Social science, science, Earth science, science social, social studies, studies, science, and U.S. history. US history. All right, let's okay, find let's out. find out if I'm Are smarter, smarter than, than a fifth, fifth grader. grader. So, so the first question I'm going to go with is English. Let's start with English okay. first. $1, Here's the How many consonants are in a word everywhere? Three, four, five. There should be five, and including with the Y. In the uh, vowel words. <laughs> I don't think my mom doesn't understand yeah, if there's a Y in the vowel words, so you don't know. You got one thousand. Yep, the answer was good. I had it correct. Did you know that you can make content consonants when your vocal track is constricted? I I can make the constant when when my vocal track is constricted. If I can do one, maybe or maybe not. All right, let's pick another subject. Uh, let's go with uh, Earth Science. Okay, the two thousand dollars question. Is what scientists advanced the hypothesis of continental drift in the early nineteen hundreds? Oh, Red Scott, right Wow, somebody, wow, somebody, somebody, somebody just locked in the answer very quickly. It can't be Tesla. It can't be Tesla because that's not the one I was looking for. Maxwell, no. The only thing I'm right now is Alfred Wegener, Wegener, because that's the only one I, I'm sure I or what I would understand that. But I don't know anything about Maxwell. So Alfred Wegener, Wegener. Hmm. We'll see. Okay. I don't know if I'm I can do this, way. but let's see. Answer it could be wrong. All right, your answer's locked. Can't be Tesla because that's not the only answer. You've got two thousand. Yes, Alfred Wegener is awesome. correct. And I knew it right away. Wegener's hypothesis was further expanded into plate tectonic fury. 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 Hmm? I think I said it correctly. Maybe I could say it. Or I don't know. So I got a correct answer. That was Wegener's hypothesis. Alright, let's pick it's another classmate. So thank you so much, Paul. Over here. Let's see. Um, ooh, ooh. I call it with Clara. Clara. You know, Kara, what does that have to do with it? Kara, yeah. Kara, 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 hmm, hmm. I don't understand that. Let's pick a subject. So, yeah. <laughs> Who wants to know about everything in, in this game? Alright, so the next question, let's go ahead and try out. Um, some, actually, I don't know anything, because there's no math in here, and there's no, uh, grammar in here. I already did English. So, let's see what the favorite subject is. What do you think I should pick? My best subjects are astronomy, art, and social studies. Alright. Alright, that should cool. be good enough. So, social study it is. Okay. $5,000. Alright. Which U.S. president signed the 1872 law that made Yellowstone the first national park? Theodore Roosevelt, USS Grant, Franklin Roosevelt, or Andrew Johnson? Right, in her um, the Yellowstone Park, I think that was Theodore... Franklin Roosevelt. Uh, there's only an answer. Theodore and Franklin. But which one could I make? Uh, Yellowstone National Park. I uh, 
Uh, there's only two answers right now. You had the OSS Grant and Andrew Johnson was not only the part that they made. There's only Theodore Roosevelt and Franklin Roosevelt. The first two remind me because they are the same last names as Roosevelt, but, dif but different first names for Theodore and Franklin. So I think the answer is going to be Franklin because that's why what what's supposed to happen. Now I got to do this. Locking in. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. After all that thing, and I almost don't have the heart oh. to tell you that that was the wrong answer. <clears throat> almost. Not again. Oh, man. I thought it was Franklin again. Okay, it's time to check out your classmates. Maybe it would have been answer. Theodore. You just grant or Andrew? Yes, you're moving. Oh, you got it right. She just saved me. Oh, it's you at USS S. Grant. Oh, okay. I thought it was in the Grand Canyon. You've got five Part of the uh, part of the somewhere else that's different. Thankfully, your classmate knew the answer to that one. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Pick another so, subject. Oh, and there's no information? Darn it. Uh, let's try out. <clears throat> Let's try out the astronomy. Okay, the ten thousand dollars. Um, the answer. Is. What is the name of the following planet? Mars, Jupiter, Mercury. Now locked in. That might be Mars. Yeah, I can tell you that because it looks like it's red. It's not Mercury, Jupiter, or Uranus. Sorry. Locking. So, lock it in right now. Okay, there it and, is. Your okay. answer's locked in. Let's just open it up. You got that one. And I got it right. right. Woohoo! Almost down to $25,000. Mars called the people the Red Planet. You know, that's the other one I never name. It's time to pick another classmate. Oh. Please pick me. Um, this answer, picking. Uh, there's only answer. Pick me. Um, that's gonna be the only answer. Which one? Me, me, me. Jed. I'm going to go with Jed. <clears throat> cool. Okay. Let's pick now it's subject. another subject. Let's try out physical science. Okay. This is one of the biggest so the questions physical on the board. Question. True false. The material through which a wave travels is called a transverse. It's twenty-five thousand dollars. Uh, I don't know anything, so. Ted has locked in his answer. So why should I say peak at the classmate's answer. answer? So yeah, peak in my classmate's answer. Let's have a look at what your classmate wrote down. If you're happy with that answer, go ahead and lock it if in. If that transverse was being calling for a bigger one model, this might be enough to make an answer out of it. I feel good about this one. I'm I'll lock, lock it in. in. You have no idea if I made the answer or not. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. <clears throat> You've got 20. And that answer was correct. Because I know I haven't heard about transverse. What does that mean? The general term for a material that a wave travels through is a medium. Thank you. The Who's next subject is um, music. Okay. This question is almost like a freebie. No matter what, what is happens, the fifth word of lyrics of Star Spangled Banner? Um, fifth word. Uh, Jed is locked in his response. Oh, say can you see? That's the first. By the dawn, second, dirty light. What's up, every we have at the twilight's resting, leaning through the stripes and bright stars, through the perilous light. What a way will be watch, worse a gallantly streaming, and the rockets red. red. This one's calling for red. Red glare. So red glare. That's two times in a row for a light. One, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth word of a lyrics that's calling for red. Because that 
always happens to the American Stripe is you can see that flag right there. This one has red right there. You're going. Going for fifty thousand dollars. That is what? That's not true. Oh. You're lying. What's the correct answer? See, that, that doesn't understand me. The end of the line, my friend. Well, you I just stopped twenty-five thousand dollars. I am such an idiot. Yes, I know what what happened. Know, I need you to tell the entire world. Yeah, I, you, you felt like an idiot and you lied. Grader. I am not smarter. I'm not smarter than fifth grader anyway. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. That was not what I was way supposed to be looking for. That was very, very mean. Sorry to see that. Here we go again. Let's try another one. So Kara was up first. <clears throat> and yeah. Let's see the list of that. So science, animal science, yes, geography, music, math, world geography, astronomy, health, earth science. World and, and world history. Uh, starting with the uh, bottom, I think. Oh, this one's my favorite one. Let's do math. Okay, you're playing for one thousand dollars on this first question. The planet of the right angle is what? Obtuse angle, acute angle, complement angle. What? Tara has locked in her answer. Which what? The planet. The planet of a right angle is what? Uh. It can't be a right angle because that doesn't know anything about that. A acute angle, like going uh, going degree, or should I understand? Copy the answer. I have to use my copy, Jeff. This is what I need to know. Okay, there it is. Your answer. All right, my answer is locked in. Here's the first one. You've got one thousand. That was the right angle. All right. That always knows the answer. Supply of the angle needed to make 180 degrees. Since the right angle is 90 degrees, its supply is a right angle. Pick another. Let's pick another one. Uh, let's go around. Try again. Music. <clears throat> okay. The two thousand dollar question is. A note played for a certain amount of time is called what? Oh wow! Somebody just did that quickly. Note extension. What do we need to know about that one? Note span, note duration, note and phases. What? Note span. I think note extension because I don't. Wait, it can't be this one. Note duration, note span. Think that one on the answer right down to the, the right, bottom right. No M phases. You are now locked in. She's answered really quickly, but I couldn't get it behind. I don't know what took you so long to come up with that answer, but I do know that it's wrong. No. Ah. Oh. No. This is me to me. Only your partner can help you now. Your answer? You can always yeah, the, the, the duration. duration. So note extension is Excellent. not that, not note span, not meant in phases, but note duration. <laughs> that could be a tough question to make. You were just saved by somebody who has to raise their hand to go to the bathroom. <laughs> You're awesome. Who has to know about going in the bathroom? I don't. Yeah, because it's determined by the type type of note. For example, a whole note or a half note. It's time to call a new classmate to the podium. Pick me. I would say you, Justin. It's you and me, Justin. Yep. Which subject? So let's want? pick another one. How about Earth Science? Okay. The five thousand dollar question is. What geologic era was marked by the presence of the dinosaurs? Sciatic, Mesotic, or what? I don't know anything about dinosaurs. We haven't talked about anything. I'm going to have, I'm to, going to, have to peek. Let's Should have a look answer, at what your classmate no. wrote down. Now's the time to lock it in. All right, lock I'll lock it in. 
You are now locked in. Okay. No. No, sorry, Justin. No. The answer. Show us the correct answer. Is. Mizorozik. I'm sorry, but that you was like stumped. Out of school. And wow. I just flunked out. Yep, you flunked out. We'll try again. Okay, this is my last try. If I don't succeed this, then I fail and I'm not gonna play that again. Let's try out Jed first. Alright, grammar, art, social studies, English, physical science, health, measurements, earth science, music, and astronomy. Start starting with grammar. I can take on that. Okay. You're playing for $1,000 on this one. What is the abbreviation point? in the following sentence? You have to be sharp at 8 a.m. at the bus stop at 8 a.m. sharp. Abbreviation. Your classmate is now locked in. Hmm. What, what do we need to know? 8 a.m.? In the morning? 8 in the morning? Who can I know? This one. Wait, I don't know if I can take this one answer, but I think this is the wrong answer. Locking in. This could be a wrong answer for sure. I think it's you. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. Creation for you into you. You are not the fastest horse on the oh, track. Oh, AM. But at least you got the answer right. Oh, I was correct. So AM was correct answer. Pick your next Next subject, subject uh, social studies. Okay, the $2,000 Alright, yes, question next question. Is. Who was the first African-American woman that makes speeches against slavery? Alright, Tubman. No, that's not it. Rosa Parks, no. So, truth, uh, what do we need to know? No. Susan B. Anthony. So, it can't be Rosa Parks and Harriet Tubman. That's because he's the president already in the World War II. I should say Susan B. Anthony. So, yeah, that's what I need to know. And that's the answer I was looking for. That's an African woman, Susan. There you go. You're locked in. This ain't the first time your instincts have led you astray, is it? No. Ah. I don't oh. think I didn't get it. Let's see if your should be show Journey Truth right here. Than you do. Yes. Yes, it is. So Journey Truth is the right answer. Ooh. Yep, you got it right, Jed. <clears throat> Your classmate just bailed you out. So I don't know anything about truth, so Thank you so we much, haven't buddy. done anything. It's time to call a new uh, classmate. Uh, let's try another one. Please pick me. Okay, I'll give you another shot. I'm going to pick Kara. Kara. Pick another subject. Uh, let's try uh, some earth science. Okay. $5,000. Here is... Which fault line is located in California? Minas Aires? Uh, so not Jason. Very quickly. Fault line. Continental Hoboken. I think Andres. I think fault line is located in California. I think St. Andres. San Andreas. I think that's the Grand Theft Auto number two. That happened already because this is how this is what happened. And it's not here anymore, so... Andreas is not here anymore, so I go with that one. I'm going to lock in my. And that happened in the earthquake suddenly. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You've got five thousand dollars. Yes, got it correct. And San Andreas, it runs close to both Los Angeles and San Francisco. But now uh, we got a new one, San Diego. You've got your classmate up here All with right. you. Pick Let's a pick subject. a subject, and this answer will be English. All right, for ten thousand dollars, maybe. How many contents are in the word jellyfish? One, two, three, four, five, six. This answer is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So yeah, so I go with that answer, not seven, because we know seven in here. Here we go. You've got ten 
Ten thousand dollars. I got it. Excellent. I claim it. Now I know the consonants comes from the Latin word that means sounding together. Now, uh, now I do. It's time All right, to let's pick, pick up our Oh, ooh. Um. Ooh, ooh. Paul. I'm going to pick Paul. Yep. Yes. Let's now let's pick another one. one. Let's take a look at measurements. Okay. You get this next question right. Can you believe On a map, if one inch equals 10 miles, how many inches is 180 game. miles? So if I count like 180 miles, has locked in his answer. and it goes with uh, 10 miles, how could I get that answer? Well, I don't have this answer to say. I, I can't make a delation with that. So if, if I can add it, then, then it won't be understanding what this answer could be. So <laughs> uh, I don't I don't get this answer. So this calls for, for peak at the answer. Yeah. I think I'll peak. I think I'll peak. May we please see what the classmate's answer was? Now's the time to lock in your answer. Seven inches. Lock I think in. you're right. I don't know because we got one that was incorrect. There you go. You're locked in. No. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Paul. That's not the right answer. Oh, man. Or at least I could have gone with my own answer. answer. You gave. Tell us the correct one. The correct gave. answer, 18 inches. That's why, because eight, 180 that comes with divided by 10 equals 18. Not a good answer. Try again on the fifth one or last. I didn't pick that answer. Copy. I think I peeked at it. Alright, just picked it. This is the last one. Reading, math, science, English, measurements, world geography, social studies, U.S. history, physical science, and earth science. Alright, starting with physical science up there. Okay, you're playing for $1,000. True or false? Cost, cost, cations are considered positively charged ions because there are more protons than in electrons. I think electrons have more than protons. This one's calling for ions to get actually it's oh wait they're charged with them because they're more proton and electrons are in there this answer should be I don't know let's say peak I'm going to have to peek at my classmates answer let's see what this calls for may we please see what the classmates answer was now's the time to lock in your answer I don't know if I would to, but you could call on that Locking one, in. buddy. If you're in it, you're good. Don't, okay, then it's false. There it is. Your answer's locked in. You've got one thousand dollars. Awesome. Yeah, that was only the answer you could pick. The opposite of a positive occasion is the annoying. Wait, and yet. Let's pick a subject. I'm oh, sorry. Math. Let's go with that. <clears throat> Okay, the $2,000 question is... Bradley reads 12 books this summer, which Jump is five more than Randy answer. Reed. How many quickly. books did Randy read? Huh. Yeah, it looks like someone had the answer very quickly. Uh, I think uh, when Bradley reads books, 12 books this summer, and five more than Randy Reed, I think this answer is not going to be five and 12. This only answer between 7 and 17. So I think he read 17 the books this time because Randy Reed, because because first 12 books this summer and, and 5 more than Randy did. And he had 5 more that he picked. Uh, that means this answer could be this and 1. 17 this is only the answer I used. I feel good I'm going to lock in. I think I might think I know what this will be. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. Or subtract. That's It's not a subtraction, it could be seven. Oh. No. Oh man. 
I wonder if your partner I wonder can if you, you can get this one. one. Yep, that was seven. Twelve minus five equals seven. Nice. So can't be seventeen. That was five, seven. I gotta remember this one, buddy. You got two thousand dollars. Cause I've been reading it wrong. You were just saved by somebody who has to raise their hand to go to the bathroom. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much, there. Twelve minus five, seven. We have to say goodbye. To yes, sir. I'm good picking. Pick a new one. Take me. All right, I'll get you another shot, Kara. You've got your classmate up here. Uh, Pick us up. English. Let's okay. go with that. The $5,000 question is... How many vowels are in the word Columbia? One, two, three, four. This answer is four. One, two, Why three, four. No Y. Good. And the answer goes in. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked. Alright, let's see what the answer is. I think this answer is it. That is... Correct! Correct! Yep, Woo. see what that tells you. You guys see vowels, you find it. Speaking. Pick your next... Mm, I'll get this. Uh, science is next. Here we go. Okay, the $10,000 question is... What is the skin of... An, of an orange called Pit PLC Gord. Kara has locked in her response. See, that doesn't understand what that is. Peel. You you peel it off. That's what you that's what you meant. I think this one's called Gord. Gord, huh? Or Pit? Pit? Gord? It's gonna be orange. I didn't pick that any answer. This is called for I think it's a gourd. We haven't talked about orange yet, but we'll do it eventually in the future. Okay, I'm locking well, in. We my can answer. do it eventually for orange in the future. All right, your answer. Peel. Locked. That's that's the peel off the orange. Well, you took your time and really thought about that question, and then you answered it wrong. Oh. Yeah, I did. Oh, I am stunned. And I'm not doing it again. Show us the correct the answer. The correct please. answer. Oh, what? You just tricked line, me. My friend, you just plumped out of school. I can't believe what a moron I'm I such idiot. Before you go, I need you to tell the entire world that you are not smarter than a fifth grader. I just proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with well, us today. That was a stunning we'll nightmare, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. No matter if you can take your time and and learn it, but you'll have to learn it better. So that being said, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some more videos, subscribe to my channel, and we'll do more soon. And in the meantime, peace out on people for us a while. As for the Are You Smarter Fifth Grade, make the grade. And now it's time for some eight magic words. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. So that's the end, folks. Goodbye.